kind of amazing what you can get for three dollars free shipping and it came in a week i doubt it has reverse current protection so i just have it hanging from one of my saplings my maples and that keeps the wire vertical Now that is pretty amazing. Huh. Remember, that unit is running at 3.95 volts, since that battery is not charged very well, instead of 5 volts. Well, you might even get a half mile from that little $3 transmitter. I bought this off of eBay for about $3. Ready to pair. Music mode. Only a shear runs off 12 volts, but I think this is a very good way to turn my radios into a little jukebox. I ripped it apart by pushing a screwdriver underneath here, pulling this out, and then popping it up. Turns out this top piece is held on by pretty much nothing. And there's two screws, and I was ripping those two screws out. But whatever. It'll just be easier to take it out that way instead of wrenching on it. This is the Bluetooth chip. This is a UP9616P. This is CX8832 uh, or 3832. And then this is not really readable. readable. This chip runs off 5 volts, and I believe this is the FM antenna. So, I tracked it down. 5 volts is on this pin. And check this out. I put ground to this here, and then... Ready to pair. Even at four volts, it can run the SD card fine, and or the USB card. Hold on here. Music mode. It's quieter, but it's fine. We need to have this solar powered and just hidden somewhere in the room to where I would always have like channel 88 to myself in this room. But I'm curious if we can chop this off, if this whole part isn't needed, if I can just bypass it, put the 5 volts in there. There's some corrosion there and there, and I think it's corrosion. Yeah, something. These are probably all returns or. I don't really know. They were three dollars. Well, this one was three dollars, and I got one. A little corrosion there. It's kind of amazing what you can get for three dollars free shipping. And it came in a week. Oh, there we go. I can add a little more, a little bit more later, but for now this should work. I doubt it has reverse current protection.
what they did. They are using the positive terminal for the antenna. And that will go through the car. So that is the antenna. Well, wow. instead of removing components, I say we take this piece of wire, which is one quarter the 88 megahertz wavelength. And we see whenever I solder it to the positive pin, how far does this signal go? So I just have it hanging from one of my saplings, my maples, and that keeps the wire vertical. Now that is pretty amazing. Huh. Remember, that unit is running at 3.95 volts, since that battery is not charged very well, instead of 5 volts. If you run it completely 5 volts, it would run about twice as much power, at least from what I found. And if you were to add a wire to that that was 10 feet, well, you might even get a half mile from that little $3 transmitter. Unfortunately, I cannot get my favorite station very well on here. WSIE, the sound. So... This will allow me to have uh, some usefulness of radio. I really look forward to. So I'm thinking this has turned out remarkably well and it's very easy for anybody to just modify. You know you're, you're just bypassing the 12 volt to 5 volt converter and just putting 5 volts in and you know what you could do? You could just do it through the USB port, but I wanted to take apart and uh, fiddle with it. And I learned that adding this to the positive is like a big antenna because it's using the positive as an antenna. So that opens up some possibilities. It goes a lot further than I thought it would. Maybe a bit too far, maybe not far enough. I'm sure people can play around with that, putting long wires on it. So right now I'm thinking, how should I package this? Should I take this and fit it inside of an old radio? Or should I make this solar powered and put it in a tree somewhere and it just works forever? Let me know, let me know what you guys think and thank you very much for watching. See ya. really nice. I like it.